Hello, it's Richard Bauer here, Yamaha Brand Ambassador at Rimmers Music in Edinburgh. One of the great things about being a musician is the ability to meet up with your mates and maybe open the garage up and, and have a, a wee jam together. Uh, and if you play guitar or saxophone or clarinet or whatever it may be, you know, lob your instruments into the back of the car and go around to your friends and, and, and have a wee jam. Fantastic. With Clavinova, that's not so easy. Um, it's not the easiest thing to, to lob in the back of the car and, and, and disappear off down to your mates. So on CVP Clavinova, we include a, a, whole, a whole wrath of um, accompaniment styles. These are actually really easy to use in Piano Room and today we're going to show you how that works. In part one of the video, we looked at the basics of the piano room function on Yamaha CVP Clavinova. Today, we'll take that a stage further and we're going to look at the accompaniments. Now, on CVP Clavinova, actually, you have many hundreds of different styles accompaniments, um, but for a pianist point of view, uh, these can be kind of quite complicated. Um, it's really a, a keyboard player's thing until you get into it. So on Piano Room, with the emphasis on making uh, access to all the things on CVP as easy as possible for someone who is coming from a piano background and probably an acoustic piano background, we've taken a collection of those styles, pared them down so you've just got a, a small group playing with you and we've made those available in Piano Room. So as you open the Piano Room function on your Clavinova, you'll find our magnificent CFX Concert Grand sitting there resplendent in the middle of the screen. In the top right hand corner, you'll notice a wee icon with a drum and a guitar on it. So that's a clear indication that there's something going on other than piano. Tap the icon at the top right hand corner of the screen and you'll see your piano move to the left to make room for all your friends. <laughs> uh, what's happening here is we've moved the piano to the left and now we've got a bass player, a drummer and a guitar player. In just the same way as we did in video one, where we tapped the body of the piano to change piano sounds, in this case, tap the little group, and now you will see the options for lots of different types of music. There's nine 
on the screen now, but you can swipe right or left to choose another page of nine and another page of nine and so on. So what do these styles do? Essentially, what they do is very clever, but very simple. As you play, you will play piano just as you would normally do, but the styles will be looking at what you're playing constantly, and the guys in the band, the guitarist and the bass player, will look at the combination of notes that you're playing, and from that, they'll decide what chord you're playing. They will then accompany you with the right bass note and the right guitar chord. All the drummer needs to do, of course, is to keep in time. So let's choose one of these styles and we'll take the standard swing style uh, on the first page. If you just press the play button, all you will hear is a drum track. But if you play a group of three notes, the bass player and the guitarist will join in with you. So let's play a simple piece with this uh, standard swing style. First of all, let's just play piano solo, and then we'll ask the guys in the band to join in. Now how much fun is that? That's, that's really good. You've not had to change the way that you play, but already this is CVP now giving you that little bit extra just to make playing so much more fun. Let's take another style. Um, my personal preference is to play jazz. Um, I, I, I do love to play jazz on piano. Now, my left hand is, isn't brilliant, um, and certainly I'm not a piano player that will be able to do bass lines and the melody line and put chords in and all of that. It's just beyond me. So what I enjoy to do is to play the piano as I would if I was playing in a small combo with a bass player and a guitarist and a drummer. I don't need to worry about the bass line because the bass player will take care of that. I don't really need to worry about keeping time because the guitar player's doing that for me and the drummer, of course. All I've really got to take care of is the melody line and just a combination of notes so the guys know what chords I'm playing so they can join in and follow along. Let's play one more tune, but before we do, I want to make a small change to the way that the styles are working in Piano Room. If you look down to the bottom right hand side of the screen, 
you'll see a cog icon. Tap the cog and you will see some options come up on the right hand side of the screen. The fifth segment down is section control. If this is off currently, turn it on by tapping the screen around the on or off area. And return to the main screen by tapping the cog once again. You'll now see four alphabetical buttons at the bottom of the screen, A, B, C and D. These are the four sections of each style because when you play with a band they won't play the same all the way through a piece of music. They'll have a sort of light section and then maybe they'll um, be a little bit more raucous in the, in the, in the chorus. This is what that A, B, C, D style selection does. So you see this is giving you much more control and much more musicality in the way that you play with these styles within Piano Root. I'm going to choose the cartoon ballad style and play a little piece with that just to finish off. Using the A, B, C, D sections it'll allow us to have light and shade within that piece of music and really means that we can make a very very musical arrangement really simply on board this CVP Clavinova. Next time we'll have a final look at some of the more in-depth settings on Piano Room, but for now enjoy the music. We'll see you soon. <laughs>